guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup look so let's get started. Since Colourpop doesn't have a foundation, I did apply the EX1 Invisawear and F200 with the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer. I am going to be applying this primer as well. This is a matte soft ochre. Um, from what I know, Colourpop doesn't have a primer for the lid so I'm just going to apply whatever I have. Then I'm going to set that with this Tarte's powder. For my first color, I'm taking Dew, and this is a French name, so I hope I'm pronouncing that right. This is a really soft brown. I'm applying that onto the crease. This is going to work as a transitional color, and I love this. I love this color. It's so, so pretty. Then I'm going in with my second color. This is in the color Trois, and again, it's a French name. So this is a really pretty, like, a brick red, and I'm applying that onto the crease and always going back and making sure that I blend to my colors because it does not look I did take this big blending brush by Beauty Junkies. You guys know this is my favorite. So I'm taking that and applying that all over the crease, blending, blending, blending. Going in with the last shadow on the crease. I'm not sure how you pronounce this, but I know it means the number four. So I'm gonna try to pronounce it because again, all these are in French. So this is the color that I'm applying onto the crease, and as you can see, I went a little ham on the left side. So I did go back and took my time with blending it out, but I'm just building up the colors to make sure that they look nice and dark and radiant. And then for my lid, I'm taking this gorgeous, gorgeous shimmery shadow. This is a super shock shadow in Un, which is numero uno, number one. I do find that these apply better with the fingers, that's why I'm applying it that way. Now I'm applying my brows, and for my brows, I use obviously the ColourPop brow tamer and this is in brown black. I do have an updated video on how I fill them in even though that, that video doesn't use ColourPop but it's pretty much the same thing because it's a gel-ish type of consistency and then I fill them in with this ColourPop brow pencil in black brown as well and I've just been loving this combination lately. I just think it's amazing. And if you guys see me talking, it's because I was talking to my best friend on the phone. So we were just updating each other. So now I'm going to apply the bronzer. And this is a bronzer that they did with Karuchi. I will have the name listed down below because I can't find it. I don't know where it went. So I applied that onto my forehead and then I realized that I didn't have my freaking um, concealer on. So I did go back and apply my concealer off camera. So I'm going back with a bronzer and I'm applying that to my cheekbones. And yes, I do vape. No, it's not weed or marijuana. I do vape. Um, it doesn't contain nicotine. 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 It's just for fun. But anyway, so I'm applying the bronzer onto my jawline to hide that double chin. And also to just chill out the cheekbones. Yes. So I'm applying that with a stippling brush because I just felt like it picked up the product a lot better and then I'm blending it out. I'm taking this gorgeous blush. This was the first time trying this and I loved it. This is called In Between the Sheets and this is again, surprise, a color pop blush and it's just absolutely breath. Now I'm going with a big stippling brush and I'm making sure that I blend everything. This is by Luxie, Luxie Beauty and it's a big old stippling brush. I will have it listed down below but these are on the pricier side so I don't know. You guys can use something else. Now guys the struggle was real with this freaking gel eyeliner. I just I don't know how I feel about this gel eyeliner from Colourpop. It's in the color black or something like that. I just 
I was struggling in like a mofo. You guys will see in a second. This one came out okay. I'm like, all right, I see you, ColourPop. I feel you. It looks good. And then, bam, the next one came out. Shit. This is where I struggled. Look at this. Look at this. So I did end up doing my eyeliner a lot thicker, and I just finished it off camera because... I just, mama wasn't having it. She wasn't. So I did put on the lashes. These are Grand Glamour by Vegas Nay, my favorite lashes. And then for the highlight, I'm using Wisp by ColourPop. Surprisingly, this is what I stuck with. I did not apply anything else on top of that. And it looks really pretty. It's a very natural, almost like a sheer highlight. For me, it's sheer. For y'all, it may not, but I really like it. It's one of my favorites. As you can see, it is not new. Um, some of the products here were new, and it was my first impression on them. I liked pretty much everything except for the gel eyeliner. It was just, I am not good with applying gel eyeliner, so let me just tell you that. But I did apply this on the highest points of my face where I want to bring luminosity onto my skin. And then for my lips, I use the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip and magic wand and it is the perfect nude peach color so i pretty much applied that and was done so i hope you guys enjoyed this one brand tutorial using color pop let me know what other videos you guys want to see next i love you guys so much i love you guys thank you so much for your support please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys